Hey, what is up, guys? Kita Rock here. Welcome back to another Nike God of Victory video. Let's talk about Grave right now. Now, a lot of you guys are probably going to come from different places. Some of you guys are new, and some of you guys are a veteran player. Um, and you guys are deciding if you want to pull for her, right? And this is going to be a very complex one because she is not that good. But because she is not bad either, she's like somewhere in between. So therefore, it makes her a, it, it just puts a very complex uh, recommendation for her right now. All right. So there's plenty of things to talk about. So let's jump into it. One grave. I won't be getting anything extreme. I'm just getting one. Oh, guys, is it one tap? Wait, wait, is this is it? Oh no. Of course, we got Rapunzel. Okay, that's fine. Oh no. Guys, I think I think that's going to be the end of me, guys. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay. All right. Tetra! Tetra! Looking for a good oh, time? I don't need Dola right Look now. No I don't really need Dola right now. I'll take it though. All right. Can we get Grave though? I'm just here for the Grave. Feel like I'm wasting gems. Really? What if I get it her now? Hmm? Two! Two, 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 two. Give me two grave. Oh no, man! Why is it always this, this goblin, this goblin-looking child? Oh come on! Come on! Okay, I take this. I take this. I take this. Okay, guys, that two could have been grave, guys. Why do you gotta do this? Okay, 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 okay. It has to be here. It has to be here. No way it's off banner, right? No way. Beware. Simply brandishing a blade does Guys, not make you its master. Three off banner pilgrims. Yo, what is the three off banner? Okay, the next one has the fourth one is the charm. That's actually lucky. Three banner pilgrims. I don't think it's lucky at all. Noah is not really that good. Ah, oh, come on. Does original Scarlet have a best team? Uh she does somewhat have a team. But I sort of replace her in a way. Oh. Two! Two! Okay, the next one, the next one. Okay, 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 I'll take this, I'll take this. Come on, man! It's over, guys. Maybe one character can... One, there's another character with Pierce, a pilgrim with Pierce. Guys, is this the end? Guys, what's happening? What is happening? You asking me to give up? After all of this effort, I'm just gonna give up. Okay, 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 okay. I, I got it, I got it. Okay. You have to spend money. No way. I've been waiting for you, honey. So you're a pilgrim banner hater. What the I just want one grave, okay? Just one grave, man. The next yellow, the next yellow. We're gonna get her for sure. I'm Marciana, and I teach at the MMR vocation. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I I I can't I can't do it. I can't do it. Are you There's two more pilgrims coming in the new year. You? And I need to save for them. I got no choice. I got no choice. Long running stories should have happy endings. <sighs> Alright. Now first things first, we have to understand what grave is all about, right? What is her role in the team where she comes in right now. She's going to be a burst 2 character. She competes with other burst 2 because you ideally only bring one burst 2 in general, right? There might be like a few tight exceptions. So you can see right here, right? She basically, her skill 1 is a passive skill where it basically just buffs her. You can see, right? Uh, effect self, she recovers HP right here. And this one is reload ratio decreased by 50%. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Uh, you are going to be able to boost your allies by boosting burst gauge feeling speed, 38% right here, and also increasing pierce damage right here. Now, this is very, very crucial, all right? So pierce damage is only good 
if your allies can do pierce damage. All right, can can pierce, right? So not every character can pierce. All right, the few notable ones that can pierce is going to be Alice, Red Hood, Maxwell. All right, and maybe like uh the Snow White, the regular version as well, right? So her skill two right here, you can see this is going to increase her attack by fifteen percent. Now this one improves her own attack. You can see effect self, and this one same as well. It's going to increase her attack and her attack damage. So basically, it makes her to a like semi DPS kind of character rather than a buffer, right? And the last skill, the burst skill right here, you can see current HP reduced. She basically gains pierce. Uh, she also gains pierce damage by up by 52%. She gains critical rate by 85%. Very, very high right there. So she's going to like perma crit pretty much. And you can see right here, uh, the most important thing is where she affects all allies is the attack damage increased by 48%, pierce damage increased by 40%, and max ammo capacity increased by 3 rounds for 10 seconds. Okay. Now that we know all she does, so we can try to talk more about where this comes in right now compared to other character. Now if we were to compare her straight up with Crown, Crown is sadly going to be the more flexible character. In fact, I, was, I wouldn't place her on the same tier with Crown. Crown is, if you have Crown, she is going to be a, by far the better character to use in most scenario, most situations. And let's show you guys some testing right now so you guys get a better context as well. Something funny just happened. Observe this, right? Crown, we replace Crown with Grave, right? Crown is doing less than Grave, 57 million here, right? You guys can see, Crown is here, Grave is doing 83 million. So Grave is doing a very good DPS. But what is weird is Asuka right here. Asuka is doing less with Grave. Why? Why is Asuka doing less with Grave? But Red Hood is doing more with Grave. Red Hood jumped from 190, to 222. So Red Hood and Gra Grave, good. Good pairing. You need Red. But Asuka, why is uh, so much loss damage? I was wondering. She dropped so much. Crown is better for her, it seems like. Reload speed? You think it's the reload speed? Maybe Asuka just doesn't synergize with, with Grave? If that's the case, then everybody's theory is wrong about Asuka. Now Asuka was one of the few characters that was theory crafted to be uh, have a very good synergy with Grave because she's one of the few characters that can pierce. All right, you can see right here when Asuka bursts, she gains pierce for twenty five seconds. All right, and Grave supposedly will improve her damage, but turns out that Crown's reload speed is way more superior to Grave's pierce. All right, and this is going to be a pattern that you will see a lot in the next few characters that have pierce because the enemy don't even uh, benefit from the this one as well. If this one is in status, then I think that means that uh, Crown is like a way better character for Asuka than Grave, right? So Crown is still better for Asuka, but surprisingly Red Hood is going to be the only one that benefits from Grave right now. So let me think, who else can benefit from Grave right now, which is not Red Hood? So we test it with Alice. Uh, Grave versus Crown in a D killer wife, and then we have Alice and Red Hood in this case. Yeah, this one is 1025, so you guys can see, right? Grave is doing more damage than Crown, for sure, right? So you can see for sure. So how about the other two? At least 284 here. 284. Here is 263. So at least did get a little bit more from Crown. Do you guys see this? Crown buffs at least more than Grave. Gra Red Hood seems to be consistent. It seems to be Red Hood is the only one that can get benefit from Grave right now. I've tested. Asuka, I've tested Alice. It doesn't seem like Grave is doing any. Grave is worse for everyone else except for Red Hood. So you really, really need Red Hood. You really, really need. If you don't have Red Hood, you pull for Grave. Everyone else is doing worse than Crown. So you might as well just get. Crown. I guess you can't get Crown anymore. I, I get it, but I'm trying to say that Crown is um, D Killer Wife damage double. Let me see where. Yeah, D Killer Wife is better with Crown. Do you guys see this? D Killer Wife is better with Crown than with Grave. So how about Maxwell? 63 with Grave. 67 with Crown. Crown is just a universal buffer. She buffs everyone here. Wait, Mari is surprisingly close. Uh, Grave is still better, but... Okay, Grave here. 1040, 172 for Grave. Mari here. Uh, let's look at Alice. 257. Okay. 476. Red Hood with Grave. 
476 million. Red Hood with Mary, 500 million. So Mary is stronger than Grave for Red Hood. But Grave only works for Red Hood. Then what is Grave's purpose if Mari is better than Grave for Red Hood? So the only reason why this one is more is because Grave herself is doing more damage than Mari. Otherwise, if Mari can do as much damage as herself, this team would have outpowered it. Because Grave is a DPS herself, right? She's like a DPS herself. Now, here's one interesting thing that I discovered. All right. So again, this might be good news for some of you guys out there who do not have crown. Now, Cinderella, surprisingly, gets a lot of boost from Grave. You can see right here, this particular Cinderella right here, she has Grave in the team. She did 928 million. All right, right here, this is Grave. But you can see with Crown, I took out Crown, she did 853 million. So it took me a while to figure out what is happening. Why does Cinderella gets more damage when Grave is in the team? Because it doesn't make sense. The whole idea here is uh, Grave provides Pierce and Cinderella doesn't really do Pierce damage. But after doing a bunch of testing on the stream, I counted the burst and I noticed that Grave's burst gauge feeling speed, her skill one in particular, uh, this particular one if you guys are not aware, you can see right here because she makes Cinderella feels the burst gauge faster. Therefore, in a three minutes scenario, Grave was able to give the team one whole entire burst because of that. And that pushes the team forward uh, in terms of damage. Uh, you can see Cinderella is getting boosted by Grave. The team with the Grave does burst more. They were total of 10 full bursts. Yeah, the one with the Grave did 12 full bursts. So I was right. This is why Cinderella was able to get more with uh, Grave. Because she was actually bursting one extra time. It's just straightforward, straightforward, very simple, because she was bursting one extra time. That's the reason why. But I still think the crown team is better because of Sparkling Anis getting the buff. Because when you put Grave, Sparkling Anis did like shit damage. At that point, she might as well not exist. It's going to be a bit more complicated because when you use this team, now you cannot use Swimsuit Anis. Swimsuit Anis gets debuffed because this particular thing that increased max ammo capacity for 3 rounds for 10 seconds. And you don't want that for Swimsuit Anis. You want to reduce max ammo capacity so that she can reload more often and fire more shots for her rockets, right? So with this in mind, if you are trying to apply this particular team and you are trying to uh, bring this in, I've tested multiple different teams. You can see uh, Cinderella and Grave right here. And then this one, we have Cinderella and Crown. And then we have one more with uh, Grave, Cinderella and Red Hood. So the best team right now, uh, you can also consider this team. All right, so this team is somewhat viable. How does this team fares compare to the def the best team right now, right? So in my humble opinion, right now the best team is going to be Cinderella, Rouge, any Sparking Summer, Crown, and then you either have Modernia or Naga for heal, right? If you ever need that. This is pretty much the best story uh, carry right now. Now you can try this one, but it's not going to be as efficient in terms of high uh, power scaling in terms of... Now if you got Red Hood, this team is not too bad, all right? This this team right here, uh, you put Grave, Roach, Cinderella, and then you put Red Hood and Mononia. But uh, in terms of survivability, you might struggle a little bit, especially if you're trying to push campaign in a higher story. Uh, I can see this team suffering more than this team, just because Crown not only gives damage boost, she also gives survivability, which is something that is not talked much about. So hopefully, we can uh, try to elaborate that further, right? But for now, uh, I don't want to talk too much about Crown because this is going to be more about Grave. Now, the next one is even more interesting. You can see right here, uh, we decided to test right here with Snow White, which is supposedly a Pierce character right here. And you can see with Grave right here, she actually did less. Crown boosts Snow White more. So the only Pierce character right now that literally can benefit from Grave's buff to the fullest and literally get a damage boost above Crown is going to be Red Hood herself, literally. So now that we have come to this point, after all of this testing, comparison with Grave versus Crown versus uh, everyone else, it feels like the only player that should be pulling for Grave right now 
is going to be players that do not have crown, right? If you don't have crown, get grave. Now there's one more condition, you need somewhat need red hood because uh, grave doesn't do really much overall in a team, right? Here's a few tests that I've run so far compared to Rosanna Chick Ocean, Naga by herself, and also Mary right here. You can see um, Mary is not too far behind actually in the Pierce team. If you're trying to run this Pierce team specifically with Alice, Red Hood, Maxwell, ETC, and D Killer Wife. So if you have this in particular, it feels like Grave. She felt a little bit underwhelming right now. Now here comes the biggest question, all right? Should you pull for Grave? I think this is going to be something that people want to hear. I think she has some potential, right? But she also have a little bit of downside. Her downside is going to be in building a team surrounding her can be a little bit tricky if you are a new player. Now, if you are a new player, right, it feels like she needs certain few characters. And if for any new player, like let's like say you start Nikki recently, if you can reroll for Crown, your account is going to be significantly better than trying to get Grave and then trying to make her work. Because like the amount of effort is just way, way more, right? Now, obviously, Grave is not bad. But she just felt a little bit underwhelming for the time being uh, comparatively to uh, other pilgrims on the block. It's hard to say if where she fits in the meta right now. I can also see potentially that she might struggle a little bit with... You might struggle a little bit with survivability because with Crown, what makes her strong is not only her buffs, but she also can help you tank a little bit of damage and give your entire team shield. But with Grave, she's literally a burst 2 damage dealer. And when you use Grave, you're literally using the burst 2 and you cannot use a healer of some sort, right? So you have to rely on a healer on burst 1. But most burst 1, you want CDR, all right? That's going to be like the team building restriction that comes in. So if you put like, let's say like Lita or D Killer Wife on burst 1, and then you burst 2, you put Grave, now you have to rely on a healer for burst 3. Especially if you're trying to push uh, story stages, for example, in campaign, this is where the struggle is going to be real. Uh, the difference between Crown and Grave is going to be huge, right? Now, she can be okay in a second team or a third team scenario. That's not to say that she's going to remain weak for the rest of her life, right? So, uh, she is a character that boosts Pierce. And in the future, if, you know, we are going to have any other Nikkei's that can boost Pierce or can rely on having Pierce on burst 3 or a burst 1 Pierce or whatever, uh, she's going to shine again. I can see the potential for sure. But for now, uh, the amount of Nikkei's that can basically benefit from her existence doesn't seem that many. I was surprised that Asuka, uh, Maxwell, Alice, and even a Snow White could not really benefit from Grace's potential Pierce boost, right? They benefit more from Crown generally. Now, if you guys can afford to, get one copy. But if you can't, you already have Crown, then I wouldn't worry too much about it personally. Crown is still the go-to character for Burst 2. It's not even close. Her flexibility is going to shine way, way more. So yeah, that's going to be it for this particular video. Let me know what you guys think personally of Grave. Uh, if you guys have tested her, uh, do you guys think she's a little bit underwhelming? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, this is still day one, so hopefully uh, when players discover more things, we're going to try different, var various different strats and see if we can make her work. But make sure you guys stay tuned, subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.